A Mid-State Fly Fisherman wants to encourage boaters and anglers to work together when out on the water. Ireland Viscount reports. I think it's a matter of they're not aware of what they're doing. The instinct is to pick up speed and paddle in front of the angler. Gino Geiza doesn't have a problem with people boating in the same waters where people fish, but he does think some boaters don't know the right way to coexist with anglers. For starters, he says boaters should aim to stay behind fishers, but if that water isn't deep enough. Then the angler should take a couple steps forward until he realizes there's enough depth of water for the boater to bypass him. Geiza says if you are in a boat, let the current drift you by, and good communication is key. Hey, angler, Mr. Fisherman, how are you do <laughs> doing today? Engage in a conversation. One kayaker we found on the Yellow Breaches agrees and says it's important to know what's going on around you. Because it's it's rough when somebody's in the water and you're trying to get around them. You got to be careful of the line. If they're using hooks, got to watch out for that. And the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission says know your route before you hit the water. Do some research. If it's a higher paddling area, just be mindful if you are out there trying to fish that area that there are going to be more paddlers. And if it's a heavier fishing area, vice versa. For Geisa, he says there's another solution. Anglers leaving around noon, when water temperatures rise, the fish get anxious and much harder to catch. So instead of uh, catching or fishing for the trout at that point, simply leave the water. It's close to noon. You leave the water and the boaters normally show up at noon. They get in the water, so it's a win-win situation. Everybody's happy, including the trout. Ireland Viscount, ABC 27 News.